Alright guys, we are in death skirts and this is difficulty 8 with all of the scourges. I want to show you um, a small video clip about a certain setup attack I did on the non-legendary mutant node because to me it feels like this was quite um, well set up. So yeah, let's get at it. This is actually a recording of a recording because I'm working on my phone and I'm not that tech savvy, so sorry about that. So bear with me a bit, but let's get uh, into here a bit. So here I can see my team. So first of all, I had to set up in the hero nodes to set up this node. And what I did in the hero nodes was to use storm, beast and magic to charge up storm um, then give energy to Beast, so he has his ultimate ready, because we have all the uh, Scourges, so ultimates cost more. And of course, uh, Magic was there to help with the charging up. I couldn't use uh, Cyclops, for obvious reasons, because having all of those four characters in the Hero Notes would have been a disaster. So I just used three of those characters, and I had to work around uh, the Cyclops issue in another way. So, when we enter this node, uh, we will have 20 charges on Storm, we will have Beast Ultimate ready, we will have uh, Magic Ultimate ready, but we won't have Cyclops Ultimate ready. And on this uh, run, you will notice that I, I use this quite a nifty trick of using a Fortifier on my Magic, so that when Cyclops takes his first turn, after the Beast Ultimate, he will only do the special, uh, and it's sort of a wasted uh, offense up. But right after that, my Magic takes a turn, and since she is a Fortifier, and she will do the Ultimate, she will be actually spreading her offense up to Cyclops, so that Cyclops gets that offense up on his next turn when he does the Ultimate. But Let's see how it goes. And yeah, you can use um, Cyclops, sorry, um, Psylocke here. He's sort of a trap character in a sense that I can, I could use my special abilities from the characters because then Psylocke can throw those ability blocks away so that we can use the ultimate right after. Uh, he's, she's also really good uh, for the Nokia uh, uh, first ability because if she targets Psylocke then uh, she will be missing that Disrupt. Disrupt went into Beast this time but luckily it didn't matter but most, most of the time when uh, someone gets that uh, Disrupt it's a game over. Alright, so here you can see me using the Ultimate and now it's Cyclops turn and he doesn't have the ultimate ready, so we're just doing the special for maximum uh, damage. And since we're doing the special, we get ability block. Then we're using our magic's ultimate, and you can see we are spreading our offense up back to Cyclops. And now we're using Psylocke to ultimate and throw all of these debuffs back into them. They don't get them, but at least we don't have them, so we can use our abilities uh, after that. All right, so they are going real hard and starting to kill off my characters, which is totally fine because this is just a sack attack and I have my main team ready. Now it's only Storm and uh, Cyclops and they're getting real low, but they're live, so we can use the ultimate with 20 charges. And as you can see, even though they have offense ups and they're pretty beefy, they are still getting a lot of damage in and then it's Cyclops turn we have 12 charges so not the best attack but it's the best I get to at this point so an offense up that's like 200,000 on each of the characters through uh, those defense ups and everything so that's not too bad and this sets up my attack with my next team which will be the Unlimited X-Men, they have like all of their charges ready and we have a lot of other characters available as well. But now we got the Naki out of the board, which is one of the 
toughest uh, uh, toughest characters here. So I, I really hate Nakia because she does a lot of damage. All of her abilities are really relevant against you, stripping away, stripping away your buffs and doing disrupts and everything. And she stays hidden easily and just heals up. And with the uh, Scourges, she gets a lot of uh, death proofs and eventually also the revive ones. But to me, this was a pretty good setup attack. We got few characters pretty low on health without revive ones. Uh, my main goal, of course, is to somehow get uh, Captain Sam low, but it's pretty hard. So we just have to rely on our uh, uh, X-Men, so unlimited X-Men with Emma. Emma will be doing the ultimate and clearing off every every buff, and they will be just going going to town with Captain Sam, and hopefully it's it's easy after that. But who knows? But yeah, hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did. Uh, please like and subscribe and you know the deal if you have any comments if you have any questions Please let me know in the comments. I'm always happy to answer and see you in the next one Hopefully at the end of the skirts. All right, you bye